Yeah. What do you think about the article of good tickets? Wouldn't it be wise to support them to push to our <laughs> Um, the article will be ticket. I know everybody seems to think um, that is a master stroke right now to push Buhari out of the picture. But to me, um, the ultimate vision that I have and the reason why I came into the terrain is far beyond that. If it was um, a new crop of politicians that came into terrain that collaborated together without this same old people that we are seeing in the scene yes i would say that collaboration i want to be part of it the truth is i have to be frank about this um obi oh um obi is of the new breed but article is still same same as far as, as i'm concerned all the people in all of those teams <laughs> they they all um a part of the people that brought Nigeria to this deplorable uh, stage. I think we have to get to a stage in Nigeria where Nigerians have to believe that without the two big um, known political parties, Toby, you are not allowing me to enjoy my food in peace. So, so anyway, whichever way, uh, let's do this. <laughs> so the, the thing is, um, we, act we actually have to believe that we can make this happen. It is possible. Everybody is just afraid that a new crop of people cannot just come into the scene and believe things can change. We can make anything happen if we believe. If only we dare believe. Uh, there was a time in America that it looked as if, forget it, it's impossible for a black man to just become president in the United States of America. But we had a determined black man that they believe that there can be a change. You see, the youth in this country have to rise up to a revolution to believe that we can make it happen. I sincerely do believe that we need to move away from those two big me mega parties and the people should own, they should, you know, own a new party with the right people. They should look at all the new people, all the new faces in the terrain, and decide to, you know, um, queue behind somebody that has a new Nigeria ideal, a new Nigeria vision for it. And that is why somebody like me, I will not lie, I will not support this ticket, even as much as I want the, inc the incumbent to be taken out of the way, I want Buhari to go in 2019, because Nigeria has never experienced this level of... Uh, or suffering that we are presently going through as a people and our nation have not experienced uh, this the, the level of collapse that we are presently in so but you see uh it's the same thing the old scenario right now in the podcast scene is looking like the same thing we faced in 2015 when everybody wanted jonathan out at all costs without even considering the implication of who we we're bringing in looking at situations and um, uh, um, scrutinizing everything about uh, what Buhari represented everybody just wanted him out at all costs we are in the same situation right now in Nigeria and for somebody like me that actually came in for a new Nigeria to be battered I will be telling a lie if I say okay I'm no more in the race so let me join the Buhari article uh, the uh, article will be ticket no i will stay in the present party that i'm still in uh, alliance for new nigeria and feladuro toye actually emerged as the presidential candidate in the parliaments of my party but i did not contest against him before because before then i stepped down for him in the arrangement we have in pact a lot of nigerian all Nigerians or most Nigerians will have heard about that is the presidential aspirant coming together we all came together some of us some fell off along the line to agree to choose a candidate uh, uh, amongst us and uh, he emerged in a credible election though some people uh, fell out and a lot of people that I know felt well uh, pact is not a structured um, 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 uh, group is not uh, a political party I can also not keep my words I can just drop off from the agreement like every other person but no everybody is different 
I'm not the first. I'm not Mongalu that dropped off. Dropped off. I'm not uh, any of all those other people that did not keep their words. I represent a body. I represent. I carry a name, and um, I will not say I was not tempted. The pressure was so much from every corner, but I, well, ultimately, at the end of the day, this decision belonged to me. And I decided to keep my word. And uh, I believe I sowed some seed in that terrain. I stirred up the waters. A lot of women that were not bold enough to want to announce before that they want to run for the office of the president or any other office for that matter. <laughs> Most of them came out of their hiding place. And uh, to me, that was a stirring that, uh, that uh, has given me so much joy that at least uh, my move was able to um, give boldness to a lot of women. And again, I will support a new party because that was the reason why I came into the terrain, to back the new. And I still believe in that vision. I, I'm going to support Fela in the best way that I can right now. Um, I do believe in his ideals most of his visions to some extent lines up with the vision that I have also and, and we're going to see what we can do with all of that and see what unfolds between now and 2019 and if at the end of the day um, I don't see um, um, a representation of the mandate that I came out with which is tackling um, the poverty level of, uh, of this nation which is making sure that we have basic amenities put in place for the people, which is, which is one of the uh, major uh, points I was coming with, and, uh, and um, an inclusive government at every level. Once I don't see most of those key things, no matter what happens in 2019, either within my party structure or at any other level, believe me, when the next opportunity comes up, I am going to run again. I'm going to come out to run for the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I, I do believe passionately about my man about my mandate, about what I hope to achieve, and um, I'm passionate about seeing that happen in governance. And um, I'm going to keep pushing towards that. And I'm happy that I'm supporting um, a youth, a young man that has almost the same vision to some extent like I have and we are comparing now to see how we can marry all of these uh, visions together and I'm praying to God that everything works out and um, yes um, to answer your question um, I will not support uh, the article OB ticket and um, I, I believe in the vision that I came into the terrain with and I'm rounding up with this I pray that uh, my party makes it in 2019 and I'm urging Nigerians to to look away from the two mega parties and embrace the new if we really want a change of nation. And you see, I keep saying something that was a narrative I've been pushing out. Your vote is your life. Because whomsoever we, you give it to is going to determine how your life will actually turn out in the next four years or eight years. Think about that. It's going to turn out if you will have enough food on the table. If the economic situation of the nation will improve for you to be able to afford three square meals for you and your family, it's going to determine if you're going to be able to pay the bills of your children. It's going to determine if the environment you live in is going to improve, if Nepal is going to get better. If your business is going to grow or is going to collapse, it's, it is your life. And when you begin to look at it like this, you will think twice about being sentimental, about giving out that vote. It's your life. And you cannot just think of your own alone. Think of the future generation. Think of the Nigerians that don't have a voice like I have or like you have or are not uh, comfortable to the level that you are. When you think of it like that, you will, your thinking will be far above yourself. And that was what I did when I laid down you know, uh, uh, my mandate temporarily when it was required of me. Because what I wanted for Niger my love for Nigeria is greater, is greater than me. My love for my country is greater than my ambition, is greater than my vision. So I will lay, there's nothing too big for me to lay down for the love of country. Think of it that way. God bless you. Bye.